Well, I'm back out to the uh, lakes again today. Stopping at my normal coffee stop just outside uh, Ruby Castle. Uh, and I'm heading up to Angletown. I was up that way about five or six weeks ago when I climbed at the top of Place Fell. And didn't actually go to Angletown, but got told by a few people uh, whose channels I follow uh, Julie, uh, Andy, Wardle, back out, uh, Gareth, Sorry, George. It was a really nice place to go to. It looked it on their videos when I watched, so I'm really looking forward to getting up there again uh, and checking out Angletown. Well, I'm parked up at the Patterdale Hotel just behind the White Lion over there. Uh, 4.50 all day, or a fiver in my case because uh, I didn't have no change and it, the machine doesn't give any change. Uh, but just after the White Lion, there is a little car park. Well, it's, it's like a little pull in, and you get maybe two, three cars in there. Every time I've come down here, I've always checked there first, it's always been full. So I've gone back to the Pattertail Hotel and parked there. Today, for some stupid reason, given that it's midweek and it's not a soul about, uh, I didn't bother. So I parked, paid a fiver, walked up past the White Lion, and there is three free car parking spaces. So not the best starts. I've got my walking poles, I've got my knee brace on, I've got my ankle brace on, so I'm prepared for everything, hopefully. So that's the way so let's get cracking what have been going five minutes two hour drive to get here uh, need to uh, use the facilities so the path snaking up there only seen one person so far young lass getting up there by herself and you can see her up there going up there and the path snakes all the way up to the view over to Glen Ridden and a little bit cloudy up over to Hell Valen. I will get that done this year sometime. Hopefully with my son. Making good but uh, steady progress. No need to rush. Can't see the point of sort of belting the way. As some people do. My son. <laughs> I'm trying to keep up with him. Time to plod on again I think. A couple of people I can see right down the bottom like starting to climb up. So I'll see if I can get to the top before them. Just been having a canny rabbit to them over there. Guy came up first with his dog and another canny little couple over there. I think we all go the same way over to Angle Town, I think. Take a left here. The place fell. Or oh, a little stream is. There's a little path. Oops, that is it going up there. In fact, them people are going there, so I'm going to follow them all the way to Angle Town. Might be confused when I got here before. Uh, weren't sure whether to go left or right. To be honest, it doesn't matter. Well, Angle Town. Absolutely spectacular view. And it turns out on the main coast to coast path. So I was bumping into more people. Trouble with me is by the time I have a rabbit with everybody. Really nice couples that have been going past, I must admit. Uh, but sometimes you get a place like this, you just want to sit totally by yourself and take it all in. See you so much. This is better than being at work. <laughs> Very lucky I only work two days a week there now. Lovely little infants and junior school. Really enjoy it. But good you kind of beat being out here. This is what it's all about. Not a soul about. Absolutely glorious. I must admit, I've never ever done a wild camp before, but this year I definitely want to do one. Uh, I 
follow a few channels I mentioned before. Uh, uh, Gareth and Zoe, uh, Julie, Andy Wardle, Jim. Oh, the list goes on and on. I will put some links. Uh, and I keep seeing them doing it. I think you know, I'm going to have to do it. This would be an ideal spot. I know a few of them that uh, channels have followed. They've been here a few weeks ago. And to wake up to this in the morn must be absolutely superb. So this year will happen at some point, and uh, hopefully I get weather like this, so I could just sit here for hours, and that's my trouble. <laughs> Too much sitting, not enough walking. But when you've got views like this, who wants to start, start running about? Heading up to Place Fell. Might as well while I'm up here. Seems a shame not to. And the only bad thing about doing this uh, walk, if you do Angle Tarn first, with the intention of going to Place Fell, you sort of come down to go all the way back up again. We're about halfway up there now, and there's the path. I came down from Angle Town, so nice and easy to stay, nice and easy to follow. It's bloody brutal this mate, it doesn't look it, but I'll tell you something when you're climbing it, good god. Anyway, I'm sure it's doing some good. We'll stand us in good stead for Snowden in a couple of weeks time, no doubt, if I live that long. Well, broke the back of it now. There's the top there. See the cairn right at the top. So, a good five minutes I'll be up there. Sat down on my bed. Top of Flace Fell again. Water, birds, and basically a couple of sheep. And that's been it for the last couple of hours. What a great day out! Well signposted from the road, through the gate there, across the bridge, up the path, and then you hit. And that's the way back. And from the gate down there, down the lane. It's just a very pleasant walk down this lane. I love all these old slate cottages. And the white painted ones as well. White lion there. To the right of that, round the corner, is the Patterdale Hotel, where the beast is parked. Anyway, last few minutes of this, I'm going to enjoy this walk back. Well, just got back, three o'clock, uh, set off about half past eight from the Patterdale Hotel where I parked, 450 all day, or five quid for me, so it doesn't give no change. But I took in Angleton and place fell. So a great day out, thoroughly enjoyed it, uh, so looking forward to getting out again very soon.